Hi everyone, welcome back to Sahab Academy. Today in this video of material costing chapter, we are going to understand another method of inventory valuation, which is called as HIFO method, which means highest in first out method. Okay, so now before beginning with this, please know that we have covered FIFO method, LIFO method, simple average method, AVCO method, yeah, weighted average, and also base stock method, right? Five different methods of inventory valuation we have covered. You can watch that in the material costing playlist. Fine. So now let's get back to HIFO and let's understand what does HIFO valuation says. Okay, let's begin. See here, the HIFO concept is really simple. It means whatever has come in at the highest, you have to send that out first. Highest in, first out, okay? But now what highest? Yeah, what are they talking about? Understand, they are talking about the price. Okay, let's take an example and understand. Let's just say you purchase your raw materials from your supplier. It came into your warehouse and those are called receipts. You all know that, right? So on 1st November, you got 50 quantity at 5 rupees each. And then number 2, 20 quantity, number 3, 90 quantity, number 4, 10 quantity, okay? 5, 6, 8, 3, okay, different prices. So now here you can see you have four different lots, okay? And production department has asked for, let's just say, 140 quantity of materials, okay? And that is what you have to issue. But now how are you going to issue them? On what price, right? That's the main question over here. That's why we have HIFO method. What does HIFO method says? HIFO method says, see, under this method, the materials with highest prices are issued first. The materials which have come in the warehouse with highest prices, those are going to go out first until it's exhausted, until it's finished, until that lot is finished. And then the next higher priced lot will be used to, you know, issue. Okay, that will be issued, right? So see here. Just identify which is the highest priced lot, this one, number 3, see, 90 quantity and the price is 8. So you have to send out 140, so first you will use this third number lot, 90 quantity, rupees 8, okay? And then you will move on, see, this is exhaust, exhausted, isn't it? You took out 90, so 90 lot is exhausted, this number third lot is exhausted. So now you have to move on to the next highest, which is the next highest, 6, isn't it? This price 6 so that's you know second number lot 20 quantity right so 20 quantity number 6 fine and then next highest second number also exhausted you just have to keep on moving on like this okay so next highest is this 5 isn't it the first number lot 50 quantity so now do you need this entire 50 no see here you needed only 140 and you have taken 90 you have taken 20 so you just need extra 30 so that 30 will come out from this first lot of first number okay so 30 rupees 5 so in total you have got 140 quantity which will be going to production department okay so the concept is really simple send out the costliest the highest material first which was the highest material over here the third number lot right that's what we did and then the next high highest price material yeah, the next highest price lot of material right that was which one second number yeah 20 we took out isn't it at the price six and then first number yeah and so on like that you have to go is that clear it's that simple okay under this method the materials with highest prices are issued first until it's exhausted and then the next higher price is used of materials okay that's what you have to do so now let's just solve a practical problem on this and then you will feel it's nothing. It's really simple. Okay, let's see. Now see here we have a practical problem of HIFO method. Let's see and simultaneously solve this problem. See here, prepare stores ledger account from the following transactions under the HIFO method. Okay, so see here we have these many transactions. Let's begin. 1st January, opening stock 200 units, rupees 2 each. Okay, so what do we do of opening stock? We immediately take the opening stock in the balance column directly, isn't it? Yes. So let's do that. 1st January, 200 quantity, price is 2 each, 2 into 200, that's equal to 400 rupees. Fine? Okay. Moving on then to 2nd January transaction, see here, issued 150 units. 
so see here there is only one lot so there is no high for nothing directly you have to issue these 150 units from this you know single lot okay easy 150 you have issued on 2nd january the price is two each 150 into two that's 300 rupees in total and what's remaining 200 minus 150 the remaining is 50 okay into two that's 100 is that clear simple and then next on 5th january you have a purchase of 100 units yeah 100 units at rupees 2.20 each yeah so now whenever there is a purchase what you have to do you have to draw a line in the balance column yeah i hope you remember in 5-4 life for everywhere we have followed this whenever there is a purchase you have to draw a line whatever there is there in the balance column exactly copy that down below yeah here we have 50 200 yeah exactly copy that below and then this new purchase which has come in this receipt you have to write it over here of course yeah 100 units 2.20 right 100 2.2 that's 220 isn't it yes so this you have to copy below this okay see here 100 2.2 220 is it clear whenever there is a purchase draw a line whatever you have previously in balance column take that below and then this purchase will come below that is that clear so this always you have to follow okay fine moving on then 7 january what happened we have issued 100 units now see you have two lots now now you have to be careful you have to follow the concept of hypho what the hypho says hypho says highest in first out whatever that has come in at the highest price that will go out first so you have to identify the highest price the highest price is this 2.2 yeah this lot this 100 lot so you have to send out 100 so this 100 you will send okay from the second lot because it has the highest price 2.2 is greater than 2 is it clear simple now nah? yeah so 100 will go out on 7 january which price 2.2 okay from this lot 2.2 so that's equal to 220 so what's remaining this 50 lot is remaining entirely yeah 50 200 clear simple now what's happening on 10th of january there is a purchase of 150 units priced at rupees 2.40 each okay so whenever there is a purchase what we have to do draw a line whatever there is there in the balance column take that below 50 200 and then the purchase which you have just made on 10 january yeah 150 2.4 each that's 360 yeah this has to go below that isn't it see here 150 into 2.4 that's equal to 360 yeah 360 so this has to go below this okay 150 2.4 360 is it clear so on 10th of january you have these two lots one is the 50 lot and then 150th lot okay right then what happened on 12 january on 12 january we have issued what 100 units okay so now to issue 100 units again you have to identify you have to follow the hypho technique which is highest over here the price you have to always check the price hypho means you have to check the price highest price highest price is 2.4 the second lot so you have to send out how much 100 units right so that 100 units will come out of this second lot 150 lot okay so see here 100 2.4 you see we have taken this 100 quantity from the second lot is it clear 100 into 2.4 that's 240 fine so now what's remaining 50 200 okay this first loss is entirely untouched yeah and then from this 150 we have taken out 100 so 50 is remaining over there 2.4 120 clear yeah 50 into 2.4 that's 120 okay easy and then what happened and then on 20th january we have purchased 180 units at the price rupees 2.5 each okay so again there is a purchase what we have to do whenever there is a purchase we have to draw a line right whatever we have in the balance column take that below exactly yeah 50 200 50 2500 yeah this two exactly will come down below and then this 180 will go below that okay right this will go below that so right now on 20th january you have three lots actually this line now this line was supposed to come over here okay yeah it's just a typing mistake fine right i'm just talking about the alignment the numbers are right just the alignment okay fine you can understand that right yeah so 180 2.5 450 right 
and then what happened on 28th jan the last transaction we have to issue 200 units now you have to again check the balance column yeah in the balance column you have three different lots yeah 50 of 2 rupees each 50 of 2.4 rupees each and 180 of 2.5 rupees each so you have to select the highest hypho highest in first out which is the highest over here highest price 2.5 so you have to send out these 200 units yeah from this 180 but can you do that entirely no you will send out 180 from over here and then it's exhausted so you have to move on to the next highest lot that would be this one 2.41 yeah the remaining 20 quantity will come out of this 50 quantity okay is that clear that's what you have to do fine so see here first 180 you have taken out 2.5 and then the next 20 because you have to send out 200 so next 20 will come out of this 50 yeah 20 into 2.4 yeah let's just calculate this 180 into 2.5 that's we know that we know that's 450 and then the remaining 20 into 2.4 that's equal to 48 right so you have you know issued that on 20th january fine and what's remaining then 50 quantity price to 100 and then from this we have taken out 20 so 30 is remaining 30 into 2.4 let's calculate 30 into 2.4 that's equal to 72 is it clear so this is your closing stock okay easy right so this was high for what you have to do whenever there is an issue you have to check the lots which is the highest sometimes what may happen sometimes you may have to use up you know three or two lots because as you can see here 200 units they asked and here we didn't have entire 200 in one no here we had 180 and then we had to move on to the next highest next highest was 2.4 so we took 20 from there like that okay so it can happen three or four times also is that clear and it's not five or life okay we are not choosing what is first what is last and all no we are seeing only the prices we are just going with the highest prices and moving high to low right from high to low we are moving okay right so that's what high for is it's really simple if you have any doubts in this please comment down below or you can message me on instagram or if you have any other hypho or lifo fifo whatever problem where you are confused regarding shortage returns or whatever it is please message me send me a photo i will definitely uh, you know solve your doubt okay so that's all for this video see you in the next video bye